June the 10th, 2024. Guys, you're looking at a video that we made three years ago in 2021. This is a response to some questions I've had. And uh, we did the video a year after we put the panels in. We are in the middle of a lot of trees, so I wanted to be able to move these panels as and follow the sun as much as possible. Now, we've lost a few trees because of the pine beetles this year, but we can, I'll show you how this mount works. And we have one other one that uh, only holds four panels. This one holds eight. And uh, the reason I'm doing it in the last few videos where we were talking about the sun going down more to the north, northwest, the, um, and I've said that I had to move my panels way more to the north than I'd usually do. People ask me how I had designed this panel. And I didn't mount them on the roof because I like to have access for easy cleaning. And I don't want to fall off having to work on them. And I can just walk up to them and move them with my hand. That's the beauty of the design. These are 2 by 4 foot 100 uh, watt panels. 20 amps, uh, excuse me, 5 amps at 20 volts. And they do a great job of keeping the batteries charged. Now the frame is what I was asked about. And I use 2 inch electrical conduit galvanized from Home Depot. All the mounts that you see, not the panels, but the mounts uh, came from there. What you're looking at is the very edge of, these are 10 foot sections, and that's how it comes, a 2 inch conduit, and then you got a U bracket. And we pre-drilled the little holes there, and these are half inch self-tapping screws. You put a little piece of wood paneling or something behind there, and that makes sure your drill doesn't go through and touch that glass. See how it's mounted? And that allows um, it to be pushed. I mean, you can rotate it up and down for the winter, tilt it real high for the summer. And with one hand, move everything. See that? I'm moving all eight panels. It's very easy, but I've never seen the wind move it. And that's a 10-foot pipe, about two foot in the ground there. Again, conduit. And uh, I let it set for a day, then I went out and rotated it. And being so deep in the ground like that and a lot of like concrete around it, it allowed it to continue to rotate without being, you, you would have to remove the panels to get it out and then you probably have to take a tractor to do that. Anyway, I can move it east and west. Check this out. Or the panels up and down. That's the beauty of the system. That's the way I designed it because again, with all the trees, it, you have to be, uh, it can't really be in a stable position. Now, I'm going to pull this up and, take, and let you take a look at it. And I'm going to show you the key to it is the uh, steel plates that are square that you see right there. And this is, again, 800-watt uh, section here, eight 100-watt panels. And each four panels are, go into the batteries through, if you look at the bottom, that's plastic electrical conduit that's buried underground that goes into where my batteries and my inverters are. <clears throat> and uh, your charge controllers. But this is quarter, I mean, excuse me, one eighth inch steel plate that you're seeing. Now notice each panel gets two of these U bolts and with the pre drill holes. Now the pipes are mounted with these uh, U bolts. And again, here's the, kind of the schematic it's 12 inches deep, 8 inches wide. And uh, the white dots indicate where I had to pre-drill. Now, if you look at it, you've got, again, the mounts that hold the panels, but these are steel U-bolts. And you can see both the back side on the top rail and then mounted on the other side of the plate, you can see the back side of the U-bolts. Make sure you get those plates. I think they come with them. I'm not sure that um, you, that goes across before you put your bolts on, right? But here is your diagram. And uh, it's very close to being accurate there, but it, you could use different size piping. So just make sure that your U-bolts and ma uh, match whatever pipe you have. And these aren't precise measurements, but again, 16th inch, excuse me, 8th inch steel plate. You could use quarter. This is just something that we had. And then that pattern allows the whole section to rotate left and right and the panels to uh move up and down you would think the uh the u brackets not the bolts but the u brackets on the panel would be so tight that they wouldn't but they're snug but it, you saw how easy they were uh movable 
You've got two of these plates on this pole. You could do us if you're just using four panels, you could use, use one cross member. But th this setup is strong enough to handle two, and that allows you to uh, get 800 watts from this. You could build it bigger. You could build separate ones uh, that you could have in different parts of your uh, yard uh, or wherever you're at for different times of the day. But this allows optimum movement very easy no tools required or anything like that so again you can pause this look at it and absorb it now wiring and all that depends on if you're going series or parallel each pan each four panels have separate wires going underground coming in again to the batteries that allows me to only running 20 amps per four panels and that then i can stay with the 10 gauge wire if you get uh, you start lining them up in series guys then um uh, and a bunch of them, your wire size will have to increase going inside. And what you're looking at is about 10 gauge that uh, is on the panels. But um, then you also have a much shorter run uh, that you can you have to deal with. Here, I'm probably 60, 70 feet from uh, the side of the house where the room is where our batteries are. But if you notice, there's two of these plates. And then there's an electrical conduit box that goes down in the bottom. There's underground. I have an access door there. And uh, from there, you it, again, it makes it very simple. Walk up on it, turn it, tilt it. And it's very simple once we figured it out. So that's the way I did it. And that was the question of, from in both videos from different folks. How did you get your panels where you can move them like that? And uh, that's how we did it, guys. Now, something I want to show you on our website. Now, this is BPEarthWatch.com. Many of you know exactly what it is. Tina keeps this thing built and updated. And it's kind of the hub of a lot of what we do. Now, the reason I'm going, there's a couple of reasons. One is we just got an email this morning. Now, Alexa Pure is the number one water filtration system on the planet. It's gravity fed, no electricity. Click here and you can read about it. I, we have dealt with different companies, but we've been with Alexa Pure now for over 12 years. So number one, we use it for ice, drinking water, cooking water, anything like that. It's very compact, holds a couple of gallons, maybe two and a half or two gallons, but you can, the tank separate guys, the upper and lower tank, and you can throw it in a small box go camping with it bug out with it whatever you got to do but right now it's eighty dollars off they're normally 279 they're at 199 and that comes with a 5,000 gallon replaceable filter and so you you can get it with that one filter or some people will go ahead and get it with a four pack of filters and that's giving you 20,000 gallons think about that two hundred dollars you're getting a 5,000 gallon filter do the math. You couldn't have 5,000 gallons worth, worth of water delivered to your home for $200. Think about that. And it, again, it's portable. It's a lifesaver with her, during hurricanes, tornadoes, or a bug out situation. The other, one of the other things I want to point out, we just talked about the solar panels. And uh, we have, as a matter of fact, let me scroll down. Here, this is what we were dealing with. A four pack of those are $438.99. That's $100 a piece, and that's very reasonable on the market. Renogy here they have the, uh, some of the best pure sine wave inverters. And so we've got basically three companies because they each have different things that you need to complete your system. And these are stuff that I have that I know works. Also at the top, here at Power Queen, they have some of the best prices on their solar batteries. So check that out, compare it, and look at the size batteries you need for your application. But here's a good place to shop. And a lot of times they have uh, diagrams or they have a chat session or something like that, guys, if you have questions. And you can ask me. I'm no expert. I, I had to, it took me time to design my system. I'm not an expert in multiple systems. I've had a couple on boats and things like that, you know, very minor. But it's a little more complex in your home, but it's not hard. But uh, it's, and I just, I, every time I found the information I needed for my system, 
I printed it out and made a notebook on the wiring diagrams, everything. And so I have that now if I have to take something apart or add to it. I flip that open, make sure I'm wiring everything back the way that I did it the first time. Because after a few years, guys, you can't remember all the wiring diagrams that are involved, especially on the inside. And that's a whole different video. But anyway, we have all of that here. Also, the world's number one survival food and supplies here. They've got uh, the grid doctors, things like that. And what we've always used them for since we've been with them, about 10 years or more, is our, the 10, 20 years uh, shelf life survival food, guys. Check it out. It's my Patriot Supply. Use these links and they help support our channel. Also, you can get our music here. Notice this is says the guitars for order now. Click there. It'll take you to where you can get any of the four CDs and there's discounts on three. Uh, the other thing is, you remember Bunny. She's a lady that some of you talked to that sent us Yukon that all of you helped finance that trip from Los Angeles. Well, the, Tina puts uh, her links here and different animals that are in trouble there. And so the, just click here. It'll go th show the different animals. You can donate to their cause, or you can actually go there and rescue some of these. And by the way, she sent me a video after we got Yukon of someone else, and I guess for privacy reasons, she didn't give out the information, but there's a picture of a nice looking fellow there that went in and got a husky from Bunny and them, and he said that he was he was a watcher of uh, BP Earthwatch, and he had heard about it there. So whoever you are, God bless you. That really makes me feel better that it the outreach is there and people are paying attention to it. So. You have Bunny's uh, group here, the Soulful Dog Rescue, telephone numbers. And uh, then here is rescueme.org. And you can go to any state. And this one is Zoe. She's a beautiful husky, black and white. And uh, this is in Rockwell County, Rockwell, Texas. Click here. It's going to give you all the information of the contacts, phone numbers, emails, like things like that. If it has this red up here, it means they could be euthanized and they don't deserve it so please uh, help with that okay but again get your panels survival food batteries water you're good to go then especially if you got a little protection with you but guys I appreciate you watching we don't do a lot of advertisement and uh, most of the video wasn't it was showing you how we did the panels but we do appreciate it if you in anything that we have here other than my music, which some say it is therapeutic, but is um, things that you need to survive. I th solar panels are key if you're in a place to where you either have ice storms like we got out of Texas or you have hurricanes that knocks the power out in the heat of the summer, which makes it brutal. Then you have a backup to run your air conditioners and things like that. And when Katrina knocked us out is when we started preparing our solar panels. And we didn't buy all of those panels at one time. It was a couple at a time. We built up our system. But after Katrina, guys, we lost power for two weeks. And that included water because of the big tank in this community. One of the tall water tanks, uh, it ran on electrical power. The pump did. We ended up getting a generator shipped in and um, it was one of the few you could find and we actually came not from Mississippi but Birmingham Caterpillar had one left big enough to run that tower and it took us two weeks to do that we got it and it hooked it up and it ran and the next day the lights came on and but anyway we had now the community has that backup generator but we learned a lesson here you need power because when those hurricanes come in if they cool it down while they're coming in but they leave so much humidity and heat behind them that if you do not have power it's brutal and guys it's uh, solar is life-saving and while I'm here let me point out something for all of you that already have your Alexa pure water filters or if you use Berkeley now the filters are different I don't prefer those at all that's why we use Alexa pure it's a different design but 
what we designed here, we patented it, was it needed an airflow intake, both the Berkey and the Alexapure. And so there's a video right there from our back porch where I watch the sun go down. And um, it shows what that uh, what this does. It also is a very good description of the Alexa Pure that you see here. This just mounts in it and it's like putting an air intake. When you build a home you have to have that air intake or nothing's going to drain out and so that this really improved that and uh, it didn't help the filtration because you can't beat the Alexa Pure's filtration but the Aquaflow Max is what we call it and we build it here shipping out the same day and it, it just about triples the outflow rate. It's almost like turning on your spigot now instead of the slower gravity feed because with the lid on and the way the two tanks are set up, one is at the top is water, it drains to the bottom, so all the air goes to the top tank. But it needs that to drain, so this ties the two tanks together but separates the water and that's how it works it worked and if the folks out there if you have one I'd appreciate you uh, saying something in the comments and letting folks uh, the difference but in this video right above it I go into detail and I show you the difference with or without it and again we build them here we ship them from here we're watching this guys we appreciate the help if you you've helped us with all these years by supporting us through these products again we're not going to push this every video you may see that two or three times a year but every again everything we got here is something that you're going to need with the way this planet's going we're watching it you watch it it's a heads up be safe